Is it leg day? It's leg day! Leg day! Let's go, baby! Marching to leg day. leg day. Everyone loves fucking leg day. Whoa. Or booty day as you prefer. How are we doing? <laughs> we good. You know why this is special? Because we are bringing live in the gridiron to you too. Oh my oh, gosh. Oh. We've been doing live in the gridirons on IGTV. And I said one day I woke up. I'm like, yo, we are bringing this shit to the tube. And we guys, we're going to give you an insight to how your boy Nunzi and Brownie. Here, we got to give you a little bit of love. Hold on. Oh, my. Don't pause it. Okay. We're still going. There she is. Yeah, you look great, dude. Yeah, perfect. So, Brownie will be giving the commentary behind the scenes today. I'll be giving a little intro uh, to each exercise I do. Um, sets and reps, dude, I don't really explain this because I don't, like, necessarily. I know everyone's going to be shocked. I don't believe in sets and reps. Oh, oh. What? Controversial. Oh, Video, save that video for later. Wee. But uh, super excited, and we're gonna get into Fitness World Canby, my my home, my love, Aww. and uh, we're gonna break down a dope Aww. leg day for you guys. So let's check it out. Yeah, you excited? Yeah. You excited? Yeah. Okay. Before we get to the leg day, we gotta warm the puppies up. Ooh. Woof woof. Woof. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, you got a fucking foam roll. Ah. So like, if you go to the gym and you just skip the warm up, already no. It's like think about this. Like I'm from a, a cold city called Calgary, and minus forty winters. You ever Ew, felt that? Oh, no. It's disgusting, right? So you'd have to go and start the car to warm it up. Ah. You wouldn't just go in the car and fucking go. No, man, you have to start it up. Car wouldn't then, run. You'd like literally run out, start the car, run back in and wait 10 minutes and then you would go and drive the car. Yeah. Same philosophy here with, with your muscles. Like don't just go right to the fuck, you can't just start it. No. Warm it up. So you got a yep. foam roll. Mm-hmm. Now I actually use a ball. These nah. are balls. Ah. Yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, I just find I can get in the crevices more. Ah, get in there. Really I'm just gonna like roll out basically all the muscles here. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Give some commentary. There we go. So you guys, the purpose of foam rolling before a workout is to release fascia. Think of that like cling wrap around your muscles. It's holding it tight. So by applying this pressure about two inches at a time in a circular or crossways motion, you're releasing the clingy fascia and you're allowing the muscle to activate and move with its full range of motion. That IT band. Ooh, the IT band always a tough one so you guys foam rolling to uh activate and release fascia for about 10 minutes pre-workout yeah that's not my, i'm just showing you guys a, a snippet but that's brief <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah so fucking foam roll but let's get to the gym let's go Whee! all black everything let's go all right guys starting the booty day leg day i call it a booty day because i focus on the booty the most um focus on your booty that's what you're getting out of today anyway this is probably my favorite piece for the booty show them I'm gonna there probably say that like a hundred times today. This is my favorite piece, but I love to start with this. What is this? That's a hyperextension. Hyperextension, and yeah. you can use it for your lower back or your glutes, and it's all a hip extension, right? Mm -hmm. So it's all about learning to get this this little thing. Here we That's important in terms of where you're actually positioned. Yeah, because why? Well, in terms of what you're gonna work, right? So like my yeah. quads are completely on the pads, which yeah. means I'm gonna fire up the That glutes. means you have full support of yeah. the quads so that you don't compensate. Exactly. Yeah. And also this is like, it's very rare that I say round your back, but I'm gonna say round your back here. Yeah. Because like I said, this is also can work the lower back as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna show you the variations, right? So if you wanna focus on lower back, it's gonna be, higher in the extension, mm -hmm. right? Show them that? Yep. As in what we're gonna focus on is glutes. So we're gonna round the lower back. Yeah. And, we're and pull up. only up to full like extension. Think about like squeeze the cheeks. Yeah. And that will propel you up. Shoulders parallel to cheeks. Exactly. And you, you can like always start with body weight, 
But what you're gonna see here when I wrap it out is with a bar. So check this out. <laughs> So here we have Nunzi performing the hyperextension for the glutes. Focus here specifically on the glutes. Now you want the end position to be in a rounded back simply because if you want full range of motion in any muscle group, you got to protract, retract, and then add tension at the top. See? So protraction, retraction, tension. One, two, down. That's how you do it. Full range. I'll drop the weight. There we go. Out. Yep. So I call these phantom reps, you guys, without any weight, but still with engaged muscles. You can rep it out about 20 extra times after you finish your working set and really squeeze all the juice out of the target muscle group. Uh, phantom reps. That's a beach bump. Holy Owie. Yeah. <laughs> Is it a donkey? It's a donkey. Yeah, yo. So, chances are that your gym does not have this. Tire flip? No, probably not. It is. It's fucking dope. It's a tire. Nice for the donkey kick. The donkey kick is unbelievable. You can do this on a cable, body weight, machines. I like to use this, but the premise is the same. And it's to focus on driving the heel up to the ceiling to contract the glute. Mm -hmm. So, up to the ceiling to contract the glute. There we go. That's the focus there. There we go. So, you're gonna take it away as I rep it out. Eat. So you guys, here we can see Nunzi performing the supported donkey kickback. Here the um, the load is the tire. It's probably 30 or 40 pounds, I would think. But basically, you see how he braces the heel into the machine and then lifts the toe to ensure that all of the force is actually through the heel there. The other foot stays supported by the upper body just to ensure that you have the most stability. Remember that your glute is in a direct line of your heel up your posterior chain. So as long as you're driving through the heel, you have a strong glute connection. Dun, dun, da, da, dun, dun, da, da, dun, dun, da, da, dun, dun, dun. Okay, yo, wouldn't be a leg day or a booty day without a cable kickback. The number one exercise for glute isolation. There's no argument. I don't care. Mm -mm. I don't fucking care. Look. Oh. Trust. Proof okay. is in the pudding so or we, cake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yo, so big hack here. You can put it around your ankle. I like to put it around the knee. Ah, why? Um, it, it, it. It, uh, I find there's like less range, so there's more tension mm -hmm. on the blue mead. Yes. Um, there's, there's less distance to travel. It's like mm -hmm. guys with short arms. More isolated. Work. You know, a guy yeah. that's like six foot five, man, he's not gonna be, you know, bigger range, right? So- like, 100%. So, by, so lever length. Yeah, so by yeah. attaching to the knee. Now this is the, the best variation that I personally have found. Like we're gonna do another video on like blue cable kickbacks because there's like mm -hmm. so many fucking variations like so yeah. many yeah, but yeah, this yeah. is the best variation that i like to do so basically i'm going to step over the cable watch that good okay yes and then now i'm in position and i'm going to kick the so right it's the side. outside leg that's behind so yeah okay so, so check this out okay so you guys here we have nunzi performing the um I guess the sideways 45 degree angle um, of the glute kickback. So we're still driving through the heel here, but the attachment's placed at the knee, meaning it's placed near a joint which has more stable, larger muscle groups around it. Therefore, you can harness more of your power to create more tension. If you place it around the ankle, you'll have to make the weight a little bit lighter because that joint is a little bit more delicate. But here, mid leg, we've got enough power to push a little bit more weight and still place an appropriate amount of tension on the glute med as long as we're angling 45 degree angles. Here, nuns, uh, point your toe in a little bit and drive with your heel a little bit more and see how it is. Ooh, even zestier there we go doing, uh, i was gonna say tasty well. oh yeah cables i love drop sets that's how you perform 15 reps drop. that's it 15 12 10 no 15 throughout oh all right all right all right that's a burner we'll see you in the next exercise Aye. so i'm gonna be showing you guys many leg days of your boy nunzi zeus Ooh. um but this i actually love what do you when you start leg day what do you start with 
uh, activation. Everyone starts with squats. That's the end. A big lift, <laughs> right? Your compound lift. You're right, you're right, but it's a big lift. I actually start with the accessory work. As you saw, we did hip extensions, cable kickbacks, donkey kicks. Yeah. Now we're moving on. This is a great superset. I love how Fitness World Canby has this set up. Lying hamstring curl, oh, preferred yeah. over seated, and then a quad extension. So mm -hmm. basically the key importance here for both of these is you gotta have on the lying hamstring, your quads and your hips in like flush against mm -hmm. the pad. Mm -hmm. And then when you're on the quad extension, you have to have your butt and your back flush. If there's like yeah. movement going on, you're cheating. Yeah. Cheaters never win. Hold so on tight. <laughs> so check out this super set. So here we have Nunzi performing lie down hamstring curl. So the reason that a prone hamstring curl is preferred to a seated, you guys, is because when you're training legs, you should never sit on your bum with the exception of the quad extension because there's not another way to do it besides on the cable. But in this case, you want your hamstrings, calves, glutes, your entire posterior chain exposed and ready to work, right? The glutes don't work if you're sitting on them. And this is another show miss. Mm. This is another cheeky trick is you can actually apply tension. Oh up. yes. Push on the stack. Push on the stack. Make yourself work. Hamstrings are funny because you can train them from lengthen or short states. Yes. There we go. This is what I mean by having the quad flush. That's it. Yeah, so you want to push your low back and your entire back into the seat and the pad there, you guys. Everything's got to be stable and still all 360 degrees of the core so that you can truly push your ankle up into that pad and isolate your full quadricep. I have to do ISO, as you can see. Mm-hmm, one side and at I'll a time. Feel the muscles work. Feel the right femme, mm -hmm. feel the outer quad, mm -hmm. the teardrop. Exactly. It's so kicking. It's like I'm kicking. There we go. Oh. Kick it up and away. So unilateral versus bilateral training, you guys, which one is better? We like uni followed by bilateral. Unilateral allows you to see where your imbalances might lie and affords you a little bit more time for stability. And bilateral training is of course best for overall strength. I'll go really heavy on this and then do a hold. There we go. See, finishing with the bilateral and the isometric hold at the top. That's when you really see what you're made of. Go, 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 go. The legs are filled with blood. Ooh, uh, sick pump. Okay, I love this machine. The abduction, not the alien abduction. <laughs> the the so abduction funny. of so the like, knees away from I, the hips. Funny story, I've done so many of these videos on TikTok. <laughs> and I get so much hate being like, it's not for booty, it works TLF, works for TFL, sorry. TFL. This is, TL, this is TLF. <laughs> Thank you, great quoting that <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, but you know what? Regardless of the anatomy, mm. Fucking works the booty. So. Proofs in the pudding or cake. <laughs> Don't knock it till you try it, man. The thing with these machines, though, is they're very like. This is the best abduction machine I've ever by hoist I've ever used. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It's awesome. Like some are like really weird, so like mm. you have to fit your body. Yeah. But watch this. This is key. So what I'm gonna do. Cause I'm gonna hug the machine. I'm not mm -hmm. gonna sit back. Mm -hmm. I don't like this. This is skis. Yeah. I'm gonna sit up and bend forward. And I'm thinking, it's like the, you know the James Fonda biohydrant movement, the clamshell? Did you say James? Did I? Jane. Oh, I did. Uh, sorry, Jane. Dude, I'm in 1993. <laughs> anyway, Little baby. There we go. So I'm driving out. Are you, are you using this? I think we're not anymore. No, it's all you, bro. Live video, that's what I'm saying. Here, here. <laughs> I'll move my stuff and shit, homie. So as you can see, I'm kicking yeah, out. There we go. So in order to isolate glute med here, you guys, what you want to do is actually push through the knee. Now, if I were training you at this very moment, I would have Nunzi stick his bum way down on the seat and keep it there because that's going to allow for greater isolation. You guys, if you let the booty float, you have no control. Put lead in the glutes, push it down into the seat. Push your bum down, 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 down. Hold it there and then abduct. That's right. There we go. No floating glutes. That's body by brawn. Shameless plug. Oh. <laughs> Do that one, man. Holy shit. <laughs> Butt on the seat. How's the booty look? Um, pretty flat. Yeah. No. So, ah, ah, <laughs> have you ever, uh, have you ever been to Bulgaria? Uh, no, but. I <laughs> I hear they have great bags. Bags? Bulgarian bag. 
The Bulgarian split squat. I've never, I've always wondered why it's called that. What the fuck are they doing in Bulgaria? Anyway, I've never been, but maybe I'll go and do some split squats. Let's so, visit. This is my, as you guys have seen this workout, I love unilateral isolation work. Yeah. Because you got one stronger leg, man, guaranteed. Yeah. So always. The, the two exercises I rarely do for legs, this is gonna shock you, mm. are barbell squats and barbell deads. Mm -hmm. Never fucking do them. I so will. So much compensating. I, I will. Like, yeah. and, like a lot of people are like, oh my God, man. Well, mm -hmm. you know what? Mm -hmm been doing it for a minute so and I definitely when I early in my in my lifting I, I was doing that but then I realized I'm so unbalanced and, and my connection like that's if you want to get big legs you got to learn how to engage the muscles so mm -hmm. Bulgarian mm -hmm. split it's a classic uh, I'm going to illustrate here with some dumbbells and you know what Bronwyn Brownie hmm. I play Bronwyn who yeah. excuse me I'm going to let Brownie take this away because you're a Bulgarian split squat champ am I check it out thank you sir Okay, check it out here, you guys. So here we have Nunzi performing Bulgarian split squat. As you can see, the front heel ends up directly under the knee at the bottom of the exercise or full extension. The, uh, the back toe is up on the bench and in line with the knee and the front hip there, you can see that. So the key here is alignment, you guys. Remember the 90-90 rule. So knee goes 90 degrees from the hips, heel goes 90 degrees from the knee. As long as you maintain that alignment and you don't make your stance too wide or too short, you're gonna have all cylinders firing here. Hug the front knee with the weights there, nuns. Really squeeze them close to your knee and feel the muscle light up even more. Do you feel it? Absolutely. So remember, you guys, that the closer you hold the weight to your target, the more engaged the target becomes. Always progress to set. So when I'm done with my 10 reps, mm -hmm. I'm going to do a couple plow metric. Oh, yep. Phantom reps with a hop. There we go. Burn it out. Fly away. Bye. Okay, you guys, so banded hip thrust in this scenario. We've got Nunzi dropping the bum almost down to the floor and then driving up with the glutes into full hip extension. Important here is that we're bracing through the heel, driving up and pushing the knees out against banded resistance. Put your toes up, babe. There you go. Do that to ensure that you have no help from the tripod of your foot. It's all in the heel, thus it's all is, in the glute. This is, we're coming to the end of the workout here. Mm -hmm. Burnout. So Ooh, look at that abduction at the top. We call that a bad girl in my neighborhood. There we go. Bad girl. Get it. All right, you guys. Almost at the end of the workout here. I'm gonna finish off the cow testes. Yeah. Um, I usually love, I'll usually do calves at the start or the end of my workout, depending on what I'm doing for my leg day. Uh, I would suggest start with the calves. The poor little calves get neglected. I love my calves. I train them every day. So for me, I just toss them in at the end. Really? Let's see. Oh yeah, it's really true. Focused, right? But if you, oh if you do God. have small calves, Juicy. start start training them at the start, right? Like Absolutely. Whatever you need to work on. So whatever you want to do it start first. Day, get it done first. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, see calf is my favorite. The key here, tippy toe, tippy mm -hmm. toe, mm -hmm. walking through mm -hmm. a bit. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, so in this instance with your with your uh, heel that hangs over the edge there, you've given yourself a deficit, meaning you have more range of motion to push up through onto your tippy toes, plus, you know, 90 some odd pounds of resistance there. Push your knees right into the pad, hold the top for minimum two seconds. I would even say four or five, good little iso hold at the top. There we go. Fun fact, in the culinary world, Bull testicles, which you referenced, <laughs> are called sweetbreads. You might have seen that on the Food Network and you know wondered, look at those sweetbreads. Oh. Hmm? Reach for the cookie jar. <laughs> Re reach for the cookie jar. Yeah, Get up on, on your tippy toes. toes. Oh. You want cookies? Yeah, you do. You out. want cake? Yeah, you do. Yum, 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 yum. You okay? That was a big leg day. Oh, We're boy. Tired. Oh, boy. We gotta go eat some Rice Krispies. Oh, yum, 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 yum. What do we gotta do? Cool down! Wacky Wild Calista! Wacky Wild Calista! Wait, dog tricks! Oh yeah! On, uh, yes. So you guys, just like we foam roll to release the fascia, activate the muscles, and warm our body up, 
we must then add static stretches at the end. So think of it this way. You have just spent the last hour shortening or contracting your muscles, right? So now it's your job to lengthen them back to their previous condition. You cannot strengthen until you've lengthened. Meaning if you drop, right? If you drop your weights and walk out of the gym with contractile muscle tissue, the next time you go to train, what you'll find is that your muscles are incredibly tight, tense, and you cannot move well within a proper range of motion. So lengthen and get back to strengthen. How do you know that you've had a good leg day? You got the shakes, the <laughs> knees a knocking. Hey! Oh my gosh, I hope you enjoyed a leg day with your boy Nunzi and Brownie. That is one of my staples. Um, and stay tuned because we're going to be bringing a lot more live in the gridirons to Nunzi YouTube. So make sure you subscribe. Stick around, tricks are for kids! Or don't, I'm not going to give the subscribe speech. <laughs> I, I can't stand the fucking. You know, that you mean a lot. No, no. If you want to fucking subscribe or not, I don't give a shit. We're having a good time all the time. We got a lot of videos coming. Check me out on IG and TikTok for more booty games. Wait, and, yeah. Uh, until next time, if you're not excited. I love you.